huge. Uh, Ginny Siri asked if Portia could please talk about Bernie's platform with regards to reproductive justice, and then Ryan Havlasek, who is one of our volunteers and is working the comment section with me in uh, chat, he's asking, what does Portia think about the Hillary endorsements from establishment women's rights organizations, and do the members reflect the executive endorsements? Well, I'll take the, I'll, who was the person who asked the question about the establishment that would be Ryan one of our one of our volunteers at Bernie TV if I could ask Ryan answer Ryan's first because it's a quicker answer um I I think it's terrible I don't believe that the women who support Planned Parenthood and NARAL uh, are wholeheartedly behind Hillary I'm one of those women and I am not behind Hillary she used to be my demigod she was everything to me, along with Debbie Wasserman Schultz. I thought they were absolutely amazing. When I was a young woman, when I was working in the trades, and I was watching what Hillary was doing, doing through the World Bank and helping women um, qualify, even from West Virginia, women from West Virginia back in the 80s qualified for World Bank loans because West Virginia qualified economically and geographically. And that was some of her hard work. Women, uh, when she was doing early childhood education, I thought she was amazing. When Debbie Wasserman Schultz walked, worked her way up through the ranks of the Democratic Party, I was like, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. No more. No more. Not when somebody has corporate donors that are all top donors are Wall Street and oil companies and she in particularly that it sickens me I'm not being theatrical here it sickens me that this woman takes money from the private prison industry these private prisons are destroying our communities in particularly our people of color, our blacks and young men of color. Uh, it's a nightmare what's going on and that she can take that kind of dirty bottom feeder money is beyond my understanding. Um, also, uh, the women who are served by Planned Parenthood in NARAL are low-income women. Women can't afford Hillary Clinton. The 1% women can. The women in the fancy pants suits. But women in general across this country cannot afford Hillary Clinton. They need a $15 minimum wage. I could go on and on. So to answer Eric's question, I think it's just a whole lot more of the problem in this country with the establishment politics and Planned Parenthood and NARAL are going to have to get with it or they're going to lose their donors. People take their money someplace else. They'll make sure those, those women who need abortions get them but they don't have to do it through Planned Parenthood. They don't have to do it through NARA. God bless them all. They made the wrong mistake. Going to reproductive justice. Reproductive justice is a whole lot more than having a right to an abortion by law. Reproductive justice is critical for all women who are low income. In particularly those women, of course we know, women of color, Latinas, Blacks and brown women are uh, proportionately more often uh, in lower income categories than white women because of white privilege. But there are a lot of poor white women. I live in Appalachia. I see them every day. The law can be that I can get an abortion, but if I can't get in my car and get there, I can't get the abortion. If I don't have access, if this is about access, reproductive justice, if you would go on Sister Song, Sister Song's website, you can learn a whole lot about it. But basically, it's a human right, and it's about access, not choice. Of course, we need the choice, but if you don't have access, you're not going to get it. It also is not just about abortion. I actually took a couple notes, so that's why I'm looking down. Uh, in order to have control over our reproduction, we have to have control over making a good, good living, having access to a decent education, and also having domestic violence assistance, being able to make an adequate wage 
have a safe home in communities. And of course, we know there's a lot more violence in the poor white neighborhoods and, and people of color neighborhoods when um, people are poor. But the other thing is, when you look on the Scioto River, for, or I mean on the Ohio River, and you go down into the southern counties of Ohio, the people tend to be lower income, and you see Dow Chemical, and you see all these coal processing plants on the river, and it's the poor people who are having to live in that environment. So a safe community is more than no guns on the street and gunfire coming through children's bedroom windows, but it's also about clean air, water, and soil, and having access to a good grocery store. 